Now, days after the European Parliament approved a resolution calling on the bloc to consider a terrorist designation for Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Tehran says it is planning to designate the armed forces of the EU states as terrorists. Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi has warned the EU and said that Iran would take reciprocal measures and that this act will increase the gaps between countries. Officials have also retaliated and said that Iran will put European forces in the Persian Gulf on the terrorist list. While calling the vote against the IRGC, the European Parliament blamed the force for the repression of protesters in Iran and the supply of drones to Russia. Though the vote is non-binding, but comes with EU foreign ministers already due to discuss tightening sanctions on the Islamic Republic next week. The move received massive condemnation from Iran, even though the head of Iran's Revolutionary Guard said that he was not concerned. Iran, however, warned that the European Union would pay the full price if it designated the Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terrorist entity. In a tweet, Iran's foreign minister says that he attended a closed session of parliament along with the IRGC chief, where they discussed the plan to designate EU armed forces as terrorists. He also said the European parliament had shot itself in the foot by approving the resolution against Iranian forces. The Revolutionary Guards oversee the volunteer of the Abbasid paramilitary force, which has been deployed against protests since mid-September last year triggered by the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini after her arrest for allegedly violating Iran's dress code for women. The guards formed shortly after the 1979 Islamic Revolution, answered to Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, and boast their own ground, naval and air forces. The United States has already placed both the IRGC and its foreign arm, the Quds Force, on its list of foreign terrorist organizations. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.